Yo, what's up YouTube? I'm back here with another video. I'm back here with the Troy built ride lawnmower. Uh, this ride lawnmower here is dated from April, I think it's April 2008. I was cutting my grass or whatever. And I said, son of a bitch. It done the same exact thing what it done before. This one here is tight. This one here is uh, loose. I think I'm gonna have to tighten this guy here up. Off camera, I had went ahead and I put some uh, Permatex, the right stuff on here. The right stuff by Permatex. We need to put this on here like this. One eternity later. What's up YouTube? Uh, hopefully y'all can hear me, but I'm having a problem with this ride lawnmower. Uh, whenever I go to engage the blade, and listen to how it's running right now. All right, so y'all just heard um, the way that that right there uh, just shut down automatically by itself. But anyway, um, yeah, I've been looking at this issue for probably two or three days now. Uh, I got out uh, to a few people, I reached a few people and uh, you know, here uh, on YouTube, uh, thanks to the Eddies, he told me that it could be the coil and some other things. I, I can't remember exactly uh, what the Eddies uh, said. I will leave a screenshot up if I already haven't. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take the coil off of that motor that's still sitting over there. I haven't had a chance to uh, move the engine. In a way, I'm kind of glad that uh, I didn't. Yes, these screws right here, uh, a little more. You have to, uh, pop all the way out, but it's no big deal. You need to lift this up. All right, so, uh, there's the coil. Right there, damn scammers keep on calling. That's the coil, uh, coil right there though. This side over here, wow, that's really touching um, to this here. Again, I'm a noob, so don't judge. About to remove this uh, old coil. Oh wow. <laughs> Disconnect the boot from the spark plug, and it's a wire right over here. It's right here. I may have to kind of reroute that a different way. Look at that right there. Wow. So what I'm doing right now is I'm trying to find a uh, date on here or something, a part number, or something like that. So if I do. Um, I will let y'all know. Alright, so it looks like I found something right here. 
And I'm also going to have to pull this up on my computer screen. I have bad eyes, you know. Age of 40, you know, you start getting a little old, senile, you know. Let's go ahead and let's go on to the computer. And uh, we're going to see if we can look this here up. All right, so we got the old ignition coil off. Um, <clears throat> this right here is the one I'm going to be putting on. Um, before I do anything else, what I'm going to do, I'm going to give this a little turn. It's got a magnet here and right here. Alright, so now we're going to turn this right here, put that right there like that, and what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to uh, put my bolts in, by the way, uh, I did contact, um, I think it's called ereplacementparts.com, and um, I got some parts that I'm going to order. All right, so what I'm gonna do is, is I'm gonna find my uh, filler gauge, and I'm gonna set these right here uh, to 10. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do this. That's 10 thou right there. I'm gonna put my filler gauge right there. Alright, so I'm going to have to uh, redo this. I'm going to start um, right over here. I'm going to do that like that. Let that draw itself in. Go ahead and I'm going to tighten this here up. That feels good. All right. Same thing with this one. Move this flashlight out of the way. All right. Don't over crank them. So uh, I don't plug this wire up. put this here on all right so now uh, I guess uh, let's go ahead and let's try to fire this thing on up and uh, we're gonna see what happens So uh, it will not start up. We're going to first uh, check for spark. Make sure that we're getting uh, spark. So uh, yes, she does have spark. filter or I had to uh, flip it around so anyway yeah it wasn't getting enough gas so I put about a quarter of a tank in there so it could get uh, to the fuel filter all right uh, it sounds like it's got really good compression and everything um, 
Let's see. Yeah, it looks like uh, we got plenty of gas running through the uh, fuel filter. This right here isn't the right coil or whatever. Uh, this right here again comes off, came off of the uh, Craftsman's Craftsman uh, parts engine, and yeah, that's what it's gonna get used for until it's stripped completely down. All right, uh, we're recording. Okay, yeah, there we go. All right, uh, so I got the GoPro uh, chesty on or whatever. And uh, I've been cutting some grass and everything with this old beast. And uh, yeah, this glare on my screen here. But yeah, it's been uh, cutting real good. Uh, I'm about to give y'all like a little <coughs> sneak peek of <coughs> it cutting some grass. This right here is going to be bumpy. I live out in sticks. And, uh, yeah, so it's, um, yeah, it's not all that stable. So it's going to be pretty bumpy. So uh, let's go ahead and let's crank it on up.
Arkansas. I'm trying to look in the viewfinder here, to make sure. Shit. That y'all can uh, see all what's going on. As you can hear, uh, it runs like a kitten. Or uh, purrs like a kitten. That's what they say, right? Disengage the blades, put us in uh, neutral. 
anyway uh, hopefully y'all was able to see uh, that it cuts good and everything uh, I'm not gonna cut the video or whatever um, although I do have more grass to cut It's uh, starting to mess up. Uh, I don't know. I like to try to cut that over there. I mean, hell, let's see what happens. just shut it off uh i don't know what the problem is but uh i mean it cut majority of the yard uh at least back out here all this now it was a few times that i did have to um <clears throat> stop and go maybe grab uh something to drink or whatever if anybody uh has the same uh issue if y'all have any idea what it can be i just changed uh the coil uh <coughs> somebody said it could be the ignition switch uh am i saying that right pretty sure somebody's gonna tell me down in the comments i want to see if we can uh Get this, get this old beast back over there. We got to get it right back over there and back into the garage. So, uh, I guess let's see what happens. And I may try to cut a strip right here. I got, I had some dead trees and stuff that I had to pick up. I cut down last year. Let's see what happens.
just gonna let it run and uh, see what happens. What's up, little girl? Hey, Peanut. All right, so uh, me and Peanut, we're out here in the uh, workshop here. It's, it's a wreck out here. I don't know what's going on with this rotten lawnmower. Uh, I mean, I don't know if I should change the ignition switch. Um, I really don't know. Yeah, what are you getting into? Peanut. Kitty, kitty, kitty. She ain't paying me no attention. But anyway, yeah. Uh, I was just checking the oil or whatever. Why I had the hood open. It runs partially uh, good, you know. But if anybody knows um, what could be the problem or whatever, uh, leave your comments down in the comment section below. I guess uh, that's going to wrap it up for this video. And uh, Peanut, where'd you go to? But anyway, yeah, me and uh, Peanut, we're going to wrap it on up. Thank you all for watching, commenting, liking, disliking, subscribing, whatever. We'll get this thing fixed uh, eventually. See y'all in the next video. Peace.